Good morning on this Tuesday. It is July 19th, and I'm Chris Allen here on the SAM channel, both Facebook and YouTube. Every morning, right around 5 a.m., give or take a few minutes, uh, I've got this video weather update with maps and uh, forecasts and all of that. Uh, yesterday, there were a few showers in the area. Some of you picked up some uh, more decent rainfall. At least uh, it wasn't uh, completely dry, uh, but now it is. As all of that has moved on, you can see that uh, there are leftover clouds and even some patchy fog over the area this morning. Now, some of this fog is right over the southern tip. You can just kind of see it there around Monroe County and Allen County along the Cumberland Plateau where there's a lot of hills and valleys. That is where a lot of fog is going to be this morning. Uh, it can be rather dense, uh, so be careful this morning. Not everybody's seeing the fog, but where there is that low visibility, be careful on your way into work this morning. Otherwise, skies have cleared. But notice this frontal boundary is still off to our west. And for that reason, I'm going to keep in a possibility, like a very small possibility, that as this front comes on in later today, we could see a few pop-up showers, but very isolated. Uh, most forecasts do not have that in there, but I'm going to leave it in just because there's still a, a lot of moisture in the air. There's that availability of a trigger, that being the front, maybe even some leftover boundaries from yesterday. And so I'm going to throw that in there for this afternoon. It may or may not happen. Again, it's, let's use the air quotes, conditional. <laughs> uh, if you watch this uh, enough, you know that I, I use that word when we're not really sure. Well, <clears throat> I'm not really sure that there's actually going to be any shower or thunderstorm activity uh, later today. It's conditional. We'll just have to see how the day plays out, but I'm going to leave that chance in there. Otherwise, temperatures are starting this morning in the muggy mid to upper 60s, close to 70 degrees across southern Kentucky. There you see uh, 68 in uh, Hart County, 67 in Butler County. You got 68 here in Warren County, the Bowling Green area, 70 down around Scottsville and Allen County. So uh, yeah, upper 60s to near 70 degree temperatures this morning. I mean, it, it may start out feeling okay, but uh, I think as the day progresses, we're going to start to feel a little more heat and humidity. That mugginess is going to return because that cold front has yet to move through. It's sort of stalled, semi-stalled right now. Uh, but once it comes on through, uh, we'll feel a temporary lull in some of the uh, higher dew points and humidity, uh, but not much, okay? So we start out, we'll say upper 60s to low 70s this morning, predicted high about 89, let's just say around 90. I mean, when it goes, when it shows 89, the blend of models going with 89, we'll say around 90. Yeah, I think we'll probably be there. 86 was our high yesterday officially because of the showers and the clouds, which was four degrees below the average of 90. But I think today with more sunshine, still some cloud cover as we get into the afternoon and that front possibly popping up a shower, we'll say around 90. Then for tonight, we'll see mid 70s and it's going to feel a bit muggier tonight uh, as that front tries to slowly move southward and then just kind of waver a little bit. It's going to return warm though uh, tomorrow. And here's proof of that. We go into the 90s. This uh, model, the blend is showing 93. You can almost count on 94, 95. And then the heat index during the afternoon. We're going to talk uh, more about the heat that's coming and the oppressive uh, I, I dare use that word, but it's going to feel rather oppressive when you're talking about heat and humidity over the next few days with some relief, temporary relief, but 
not permanent relief. I mean, we're not, we're not quite there yet. We're just, uh, heading toward the end, uh, or the middle, we're in the middle of July heading toward the end. Uh, so we still have a ways to go of summer. Okay. Here's a look at the, uh, the model maps this morning, the future radar, pretty quiet over the area. There could be some renegade showers that try to get going this morning around the Nashville area. I saw a blip or two earlier on the radar. Uh, as we get into the afternoon and that front tries to close in on the Bowling Green area, this is what I'm talking about. Yes, it's very few and they'll most likely be widely scattered. What I call the renegade shower or a stray shower they're just going to pop up, and then after the sun goes down, they go away. We'll see some activity along I-40 west of Nashville toward Jackson, Memphis, 65 south of Nashville toward Columbia. Uh, all of that's going to stay pretty well south of us until we get into tomorrow. Now, tomorrow we're going to find uh, a breezy day for a change. Uh, and then we're going to see these scattered showers take note here uh, late tonight, early tomorrow morning. I'm going to, even though the skies will be mainly clear, I'm going to leave in that chance that somebody could get a shower, like I said, not only this afternoon, but again tomorrow early. But the main event is what's developing, you see there, to the west and northwest of us. This is tomorrow evening. Okay, late afternoon, we're going to watch a line of thunderstorms come together. And then by late in the day, even after the sun goes down Wednesday night, this thing looks to hold together and bring us a pretty good shot of showers and thunderstorms. And if this develops more into a complex of thunderstorms, then we could be looking at some gusty winds, some lightning, some very heavy downpours of rain, maybe even a little bit of hail. Uh, not necessarily a tornado situation, never say zero or never say never. Um, but this could bring us a good shot of getting a more organized rainfall and uh, a pretty good shot of it, but it's a fast mover. So it's going to be in here Wednesday night, and into the early morning hours on Thursday, and then it's gone. And that's when the heat really starts to take over, and really no chance of rain as we head into the weekend. Or if anything, there could be, a, again, a renegade shower that pops up during the weekend, but at, right now the weekend is just looking hot and humid. All right, here's a look at the maps this morning showing that uh, wobbly frontal boundary just northwest of us. And I think that's going to be a trigger today as it just flexes around the region, around the Ohio River into southern Kentucky, uh, that could pop a shower or two this afternoon. As you see here, it goes a little south of us. Most of the shower activities you saw on future radar is going to be in middle Tennessee, although I'm not going to completely rule it out here, but very few of you should see a shower today or tonight. It is going to be with the approach of that next front tomorrow and into early Thursday. Here we go. Showers and thunderstorms. This is Wednesday night. Looking at the time up here, you see Thursday, but that's when, according to Zulu time, world time, however you want to look at it, zero universal time code when it's zero and it says Thursday, that's the beginning of Thursday, but it's actually Wednesday night about seven o'clock. Okay. I know it's confusing, but that's what we use in, in weather, uh, to keep up with this. So here we go about six, seven o'clock tomorrow night, showers and thunderstorms start to pop in. Here we go into, uh, Thursday morning, the front is still lingering, then it moves southward. So Friday looks sunny and the weekend looks sunny. There's another system to the north, but look at this, the warm front, that's going to be over us as we get into Saturday and Sunday. That's going to keep us heated. 
And because the moisture will be trapped under this dome of high pressure, then it's going to be hot and humid. Uh, not 100 degree hot and humid, but close. And there you see just what we call a dirty high. This is all just scattered activity along the boundaries that are north of us as we get into Sunday. Uh, here comes Monday, cold front approaching. Then after that, we could see another shot of showers and thunderstorms. How about those temperatures? Well, let's take a look at the viewer. Next 10 days, 89, like I said, around 90 today, but look at that, 96, maybe tomorrow, 93, you know, with the showers coming in Wednesday evening into Thursday morning, that'll bring us down a few degrees. But uh, from what I'm seeing on the, the raw data, um, I don't see any relief from the high dew points. So it's still going to be muggy even after the passage of that front and the rain. So then we go mid to upper 90s. This is what I mean when I say close to 100. Uh, certainly the heat index will be over that for the weekend. The weekend looks dry, but it looks hot and muggy. Some relief into next week, a little bit, but still looking at 90s. And around 90 is where we should be for this time of the year as far as temperature. All right, headed into uh, Sam 100.7, the radio station this morning to do the morning show 6 to 10. And um, back here tomorrow morning around this same time to do another video weather update for you on the Sam channel. Sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. You guys have a great Tuesday. Thanks as always for watching and listening. God bless you. And I'll see you on the radio.